How can you attract healthy relationships? That's such a huge topic and 22 minutes seem like, yeah, whatever you can do in 22 minutes, but that's really, really not true. In 22 minutes, you can change your whole life. You know how little incidents can really change the whole path of your destiny and taking your time taking your energy to focus on these 22 minutes can change your life too. I swear this work is so important and you have all the tools and the strings in your head to change in your hands, in your head too, in your hands to, to change the, the path. You can steer in this direction or this direction. You are so, so powerful and the most powerful thing is your thoughts and your mindset and let's work on that because relationships that's something you can't change the other persons but you can change yourself and the first step as always in the whole joy academy it's always about the wheel of life what is your vision what do you want in relationships too what do you want what do you want from your perfect partner Maybe you're looking for a partner, like a, a loving relationship, a romantic relationship, or maybe for a friend, like a true, true friend. You, you, you're in need for a true friend who is just always here for you, listening properly and really, I want a friend. And now we go into action mode with a list. Again, the list, Ronia loves lists, and they are so easy to do, but so, so powerful. And I ask you now for five minutes, and I know five minutes seem like an eternity, or they are very quick. If you have to rush to a train or to a meeting and you're five minutes late, it's like, wow, or you're, you're, you have five minutes left. Five minutes is so short, but maybe with writing this list, five minutes is just too long. Like, oh, come on, isn't it over yet? Please grab a pen, grab a paper and just go all in for five minutes. Come on, you can do that. And write down how your perfect partner with a healthy, within a healthy relationship, how should she, he, them be? Like, he should listen to me properly. She should support me always. Then they should um, support me when I do a thing they don't like so much. Whatever it is, write it down like, I want this, I want this. It's like a wish list to Santa, very specific and very clear. And don't think about, oh, wow, I won't find somebody like that anyway. I will compromise here or there. No, no, no. Go all in. What are you wishing for? Like, oh, wow, that would be too good to be true write it down five minutes from now and um, just write, write, write like full speed. And if you need time, you can take your time afterwards. But these five minutes, while I'm like teasing you a little bit and taking, taking, um, holding the space for you that you really do the homework, five minutes from now, write everything down, what you want for your perfect relationship.
five minutes for you thinking time. What do I want in my healthy, perfect relationship? How do the other person, does the other person has to be that I feel like, wow, this is my perfect, this is a healthy relationship. And healthy relationships for me are the easy ones where it just flows and you don't have to second guess what you said like 10 times or you are bitching around. Of course, there can be fights in perfect, healthy relationships, no worries. But like in the beginning and also like in general, it has to be easy. Otherwise, it's a hustle and and love and relationships should be just encouraging, supporting and, and beautiful. And I hope you have a full list now of how does the other person has to be listening to me carefully, listening to me fully present and really all in and don't interrupt me. Um, I want to, to get presents, flowers. I don't know what's on your list, but I hope you have a really, really big list. And now I have to apologize. It's a trap. Again, it's a trap, but a nice one, I think, because we can't like Tinder and all the online dating things. Also people you just meet, you can't ask them like, are you giving me presents? Are you giving me flowers? That would be so like, oh, come on, how complicated are you? But I like that we have this, the, the strings to steer. We have them in our hands. And that's what the trap is about. This list is the perfect to do list for yourself. And I know that seems exhausting or why is it always my fault? Or why do I have to do the work? The others could do the work. No, start with yourself well, because that's the only person you can change and you can be aware of your thinking and your, your acting patterns. And that's the beauty of self-development and of growing and of changing. You are in charge and you can decide and you can choose. So if you have written down like he, she, they should listen to me carefully without interrupting myself. How do you treat yourself like within your head? Are you listening to what your body, your intuition, your, your gut feeling are telling you? Or is it like, no, no time. Let's go. Maybe you get treated like that too from other side. No time. Let's go. And how do you treat others? Do you really listen carefully without interrupting anybody? And it could be the cashier in the supermarket, somebody at work in a Zoom call, your kid, what, whomever you are interacting with, if you demand that in a perfect relationship, you are, the other person should listen to you without interrupting yourself, be aware in the next month. Let's, let's start today in March, 2021, when I'm recording this for a full month, I'm really, really aware of how do I listen? Do I interrupt other people or do I let them really speak to the end of their talk? And then I chime in with my point of view or, or um, my comment to this. Be aware of this list like, wow, okay, I want all this from my perfect partner, but am I like this already? Or am, do I do this, these things? Presents, flowers, buy yourself presents buy yourself flowers and enjoy the flowers because the flowers are the thing to enjoy. Not like I bought them myself. That doesn't count. I want my partner to buy me flowers. Really? Like you don't need somebody else to treat yourself like you want to be treated by others. You can do that yourself. And that doesn't mean that you don't need anybody. Well, it means that you don't need need anybody else you you take care of yourself yourself and then the beauty begins and the magic begins because other people in your life they feel that you are satisfied that you are fully and whole within yourself and then relationships are so much more easy and beautiful because no expectations are like you should be like this that i am happy you take care of your happiness yourself 
and then you have the most beautiful partner from eye to eye, not, not from above and no power differences because he, she, they take care of themselves too. And that's so cool. If you are fully involved in your self-care in buying your flowers and presents, listening to yourself, treating yourself lovingly. Also, when you, when you walk by a mirror, you are greeting yourself, not commenting like, oh, you got fat over these days. You should do a diet and beep, 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 bitching around. No, treat yourself as the loving partner you wish you have. And I swear, I promise, I really, really know he, she, they will come into your life because you treat yourself and the people around you like in the way you have on your list. And my next three minutes assignment to you is that you think of what do I want to change now in the next month? If there is so much on this list and you are really not that way yet, don't overwhelm yourself, but go with maybe three points, five points, one point, and just choose what you want to focus on this month. Like, okay, listening carefully. That's now my favorite, my favorite um, point on your list. Maybe it's not even on your list, but that's something I'm really aware of. Like, oh, wow, they don't listen to each other at all. If you, if you are listening to a conversation of two people, you can tell like, wow, he wasn't finished at all. She already hits the, hit the, the conversation with her points. And it's a, it's a, it's a, a fight nearly, but listening is really an art. So focus on that. Maybe three minutes of choosing what you want to focus on next month, next 30 days, 31 days, you are promising yourself like, oh, I want to change this. And I want to feel the difference treating me myself this way. Others, even if it's just a random stranger, I treat them as I would love that my future partner or in the healthy relationship I'm wishing for treats me. This is magic. I tell you three minutes of choosing what you want to focus on and think of practically like, what does that mean? Like, okay, I just seal my lip when I'm listening to somebody and I really wait until they're finished. That's really, that's not, that's easier said than done. That could be a really practical um, task for the next month. Three minutes of thinking through your list and then we will finish up this beautiful exercises and um, these thought processes. And I know they seem easy or simple, but they're not. And they're so powerful. And I wish you the most wonderful relationship. So let's do this. Three minutes of what do I want to choose to change within me, how I act in this world with me and the others. Three minutes count from now.
three minutes of thinking through that. And while I set this timer, I'm like, oh, wow, that's such a long time. And that's what I love too about time. It's so rel relative. If you have, if you're in a rush, time is so fast. If you're in a situation you love so much, time is too fast. If you are doing something which is hard or like challenging, it's like oh, three minutes are so long. Isn't that cool that this is just a fact that time is not running in the same speed? It seems like that. What do you commit to change about yourself? And if you are just thinking I'm perfect, then trust this perfectness, enjoy your perfectness and you will attract the healthy relationships anyway. But if you read through your wish list, my partner has to be this, 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 do this, 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 and you don't treat yourself, not at all, you don't treat yourself like that. Start with some points and really listen to yourself, listen to others and buy yourself the present you want somebody else to, to give you. And also, if you have people in your life you love, tell them what you need and want. They don't have to be thought readers like, oh, she might now need a coffee. Just, oh, could you do a coffee for me, please? And if you do that regularly for other people too, like little, wonderful, kind acts to, to support them without asking, without, without um, expectations, it will come back to you. And that's just the old, the old, um, I don't know if you have that in English, the old saying, how you call in out into the woods, it will, it will come back to you. I think that's the magic of the law of attraction, treating yourself as the loving partner you wish you, you want to attract. That's the first step and just commit to something or three things you want to, to implement next month. And if you want support, if you want a gang which is with you and inspire you and life coaching with me, join the Joy Academy because we're a beautiful community which does, does exactly that. Just step by step, develop yourself, grow and, and change yourself where you think like, ooh, I want to change this up and this, and um, I need support. So come on in into the Joy Academy. We will love to have you there and support you and inspire you. If you watch that on YouTube, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's so new yet, but I love to grow from, from zero. Everybody starts at zero at some point and just do it, do your process. I do my process. I love you. Thank you for watching and have a great, great week. Bye bye.